welcome to the African Utility Week studio. I'm Nicolette Pomba van Sale, editor of ESI Africa, and today I am speaking to Hendrik Schluman, who is the founder of Zonka Energy. We're going to be talking about renewable electrification. Welcome, Hendrik. Good morning, Nicolette. Here in the city of Cape Town, our urban informal settlements is something that is growing. Uh, can you tell us a bit about how Zonka Energy has uh, developed within that sphere? So maybe to set the background a little bit is that um, at this point we have uh, in, in South Africa we've got more than a million households living in informal settlements and um, <clears throat> if you take into account that a household consists of uh, two to four people we have about three million people in South Africa living in informal settlements and um, we believe that um, only about half of them have access to electric electricity and, and Cape Town is certainly one of the uh, of the towns where we um, I believe have about hundred and forty thousand uh, people without uh, living in informal settlements so Zonka Energy's idea was to um, <clears throat> to uh, um, to formulate a model uh, under which we can bring power to those uh, people using microgrid technology All right. and um, in terms of the, the, the microgrid, uh, can you explain to us a little bit how that works? Yeah, on a, on a, on a very large scale, um, most South Africans are connected to the national utility, of course. The national utility has large centralized power generation that's distributed over wide distances to reach the end user. And um, in an in a, in a African context, that can be very inefficient because Many of our, our people live either in areas rurally, far away from where they can be reached, so it's very expensive to get them connected to the power utility, or, um, and, and that's where we want to operate, they live in urban uh, settlements that um, cannot be connected to the grid for a number of reasons. For example, um, if the informal settlement is located on private land, um, the utility cannot uh, connect to the grid. Often you will find that there are legal disputes between the stakeholders. Again, the utility cannot connect the, um, the informal settlement. Right. Or in other examples, the density of an informal settlement can be so high that the infrastructure simply can't be brought into it to connect people to the, um, to the grid. Um, other reasons are frequent flooding uh, or proximity to nature reserves, sometimes in the Western Cape, uh, in the nature reserves uh, we have uh, settlement. So under those circumstances it's extremely difficult to get power to the people using the conventional um, way. Now a, a microgrid really brings the generation of power very close to the consumption of power. Uh, normally uh, through renewable energy forms like solar, wind and water, micro water um, generation or power generation from water. And that's what, uh, that's what we do in our case, uh, we, we, we base our work on solar. A project that uh, you recently uh, worked on was uh, Jabula, yes. uh, the J Jabula project. And um, uh, can we just delve into what were the milestones mm. uh, around this project? Um, the idea for Jabula was born in early, uh, early last year, early 2016, and it really was born out of the, um, I think, of my realization that, that the, um, that we 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 really at the takeoff of a of a revolution, and I suppose that's also the title of this conference here. And I, I like to draw the um, the comparison with what mobile telephones have done to Africa, how they revolutionized Africa. And, 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 and also really leapfrogged um, landlines completely. We went from no communication, very little communication, to a well-connected continent, relatively well-connected continent, through mobile technology. And I foresee a similar trend um, with, uh, with microgrid technology coming up, because that is the logical and, uh, and, and um, a, a most sensible way to to connect those people to the, to the power um, right. grids, or, or to, to bring power to them. And the, the milestones um, around yes. that project? The, the milestones, so that's what the idea was born in 2016 and then, and then the first um, challenge was to find a, a, a location for, a suitable location for the pilot and uh, um, we, we identified Jabula informal settlement um, halfway through 2016, must have been in May last year and, and six weeks later 
we had uh, our first nano grid installed at Jabula. Six weeks. Six weeks That's it took us. Um, six weeks. And um, and since then we um, and, and now and and, and and we brought that to full capacity. We found the clients that are interested that were interested to uh, become uh, to sign a purchase a, um, a service agreement. And um, and and uh, from the first of September we we were running at uh, full capacity last year. And since then we have been collecting. Um, financial data, um, community data, and uh, technical data. We've been using this information to really um, update and, and fine tune our, our model for social enterprise. Uh, what have been the, the, the points that have stood out for you around this project um, in, in terms of what, what, what are the, the lessons for you? Yes, yes. I think positively what's standing out is that, that our clients are happy. Um, they're telling us that since they have subscribed to our service, they have a better cash flow situ situation because their savings in kerosene, candles and uh, petrol for their petrol generators that they were using as an alternative power source exceed, by far exceed, the, s the service fees that they pay to Zonka Energy. So actually, not only do they have reliable energy now, but at the end of the month they have more cash at hand to, for, for, for other purchases. Um, we also have a 100% payment compliance. Uh, we have no tempering, and um, we had no other problems with the community. Even though, so this, this is, those are the positive outcomes. I do think that probably the most important part of our work is to have a, a from the ground up um, uh, uh, attitude and, and, and really involve the community very closely in decision making and, and how to take this business forward because there is a, there's a lot of potential for uh, wrong expectations or misunderstandings with the community. So that's really where a lot of our um, energy is focused now. Yeah, as you say, the, the expectation uh, is so important to be met, otherwise uh, future projects uh, will not be yes. developed. Yes. Uh, so Hendrik, lastly, um, for you, uh, you at African Utility Week, what do you feel is the important message uh, that you can share uh, with other participants in terms of uh, developing electrification projects? Um, I think one of the challenges, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here, is to find finance for such projects. Uh, I think people still, as we say, we're in the takeoff phase, but we, we're still taking off. We haven't taken off yet. And I think financial institutions and also policymakers uh, we'll have we'll have to come to the table and create a, a, a legal and policy framework that is operatable for everybody. Um, and I do think that financial institutions, although I sense a lot of interest from from the financial side, but I don't really think um, that th th there's still a lot of uncertainty. I think that has to be removed in order to be able to raise money for 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 the type of project that I've been describing to you. And I hope and I believe that this conference here will be a, will be a tool and a platform to talk about these issues. And um, it's only early in the conference, but I already have a feeling that this will be the case. Right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insight with us and for joining us at the uh, African Internet Week studio. Thank you so much, Andre. Thank you, Nicolette. It was a pleasure. Thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pombo Fansale, editor of ESI Africa, coming to you from the African Utility Week studio.